Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about yet another Windows tweaking or debloating app. This one's called ET Optimizer. So you just download an executable and run it so there's nothing to install. So with this, if you're using Chrome, for example, it's probably going to block it. Edge will question you about it, but allow you to download it. I'm not sure what Firefox will do. And you might run into a situation where maybe Windows Defender or your antivirus uh, software flags it as well, and that's because it's making, you know, Windows adjustments here. And then, of course, just like with anything else you download from the Internet, use at your own risk. Uh, make a backup, especially a system restore point, uh, before using it. All right, so when you double-click the executable, it does take a minute to load up, so it's a little bit slow. Then you have all these various options here. So you have your performance tweaks, where you can do things such as disable certain features or change certain features. Then you have your visual tweaks, such as show file extensions, have File Explorer start on this PC instead of home. Then we have some other miscellaneous stuff if you want to remove the Windows Game Bar, a scan for adware, clean the WinSXX folder, free up some space. Then we have some privacy settings here, disable telemetry, disable media player usage reports. Then we have our expert mode settings, such as disable Xbox services, remove OneDrive, disable Windows Defender, and so on. So you could select all or just select, you know, which part you want to turn on or off. So that enables all the options there, just like that. And then at the top here, if you click on backup, it's going to create a system restore point. And then you'll have this showing in the background while it's making the restore point. So this takes a minute to run as well, too. So we might have to pause it and let this finish. All right, then when it's done, it'll load the program up again. Then you have some restore options here. So if you go to restore point, it'll show you the restore point it made for the application itself. And then you can do register restore as well. Then there's some extras. If you want to just open certain things from here, like device manager. That type of thing. You could download some additional software if you need Chrome or Firefox, 7-Zip, Notepad++, and so on. Reboot to BIOS, reboot to safe mode, restart Explorer, make an ET optimized ISO file. I haven't tried that, so I'm not sure exactly what this will do. So it might actually make a Windows ISO file with all your tweaks in it. So maybe we'll do another video on that and see how that works. Then you have About and Donate. So if you go to their website on GitHub here, uh, there's a section called What It Does, where you can kind of see what each feature will do. So you can read up on it before you actually do it, like that. All right, so let's try this out here. Let's do a couple other ones here. Let's scan for some adware, clean that up. Let's see if it'll actually remove OneDrive. And then we'll check to see if file extensions are shown, if the jump lists are cleared, if the search box is set to an icon, and if Explorer starts on this PC instead of home. All right, so we're going to click on Start. So if this takes too long, I'll just pause the video until it's done. All right, you can see it's running the disk cleanup here. So what I'll probably do is I'll just speed up the video for this part so you can see what it does, but not have to sit here and wait all day to watch it. So the step we're on now, where it's cleaning the WinSXS folder, is taking some time, so there's probably a lot of stuff in there. So that'll probably be the case for you if you choose that option. All right, trying to remove Microsoft OneDrive now, so we'll see if that works. All 
So one thing about removing OneDrive, so if you still have it active and connected and syncing, uh, you might be stuck with your folders still pointing to uh, OneDrive under your user account instead of your files being back in the original folders. So we did a video on how to properly remove OneDrive, or actually I should say how to disconnect from it and stop the sync and get your files back to normal before you remove it. So you might want to check that out in case you have not actually disabled it before doing this. So I'll put a link in the description for that video as well. All right, everything has been done. Reboot is recommended. Let's click OK. All right, so now we're back here. Everything's unchecked. You can see we have our small search box. Opens to this PC. File extensions are shown. Jump lists are gone. Let's check out OneDrive. OneDrive is gone as well. All right, so we're actually looking pretty good. All right, so as you can see, it does, you know, a bit of stuff, so it might be worth trying if you want a quick way to tweak or debloat your Windows installation. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you can download ET Optimizer and you can try it out yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.